Hello, hello everyone. This is Rob here. Uh, thanks again for stopping by the channel, the workshop. Uh, please appreciate your support. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Um, it is always great to see um, folks um, take advantage of the resources that has been created. Um, all right, so this is the second video of on, on pass through. Um, in the first video I created, I developed a, an application in Unity and uh, I went step by step. Uh, please take advantage of that, that if you are working on a project and that has passed through or capability um, or any mixed reality project, um, take advantage of that um, video. Um, so today I'm finalizing this, this project of, of creating two videos. Um, and uh, the second part, this, this second video, I will, I will show to you how to record, how to record a casting from pass through um, just a little bit. Um, it is in, in, in Oculus 1 and Oculus 2. Um, there, there aren't any capability for you to uh, record um, the pass through, mostly because of um, um, privacy from Meta, um, the Oculus um, Pro, um, the, Mac, the, the, the Oculus Pro, you know, the latest one from Meta, um, you definitely um, has a capability for you to um, record. Um, and I really don't know the reason why um, there aren't any updates um, on previous um, headsets, but that's the, the nature of the beast. Um, so for this tutorial, I am working on a Mac, Mac Studio, um, just up front. Um, and for Mac users, um, if you are looking for tutorials and, you know, if you're navigating to forums and um, you're doing your own research on YouTube and try to find and how to do this, uh, be ready because it will be a nightmare because I've been there and I've been researching a lot on how to do this, uh, where to find. And so um, I've been navigating to so many different websites um, and picking information from so many different places and try to find an easier way to do this, uh, which I finally found a very easy way to do this. Um, so I'm absolutely very, very happy to share uh, what I will show today uh, based on um, the few information that I got and uh, if you watched my previous my first video uh, the, um, the, any, the the recordings looks pretty pretty neat and very very nice and it was actually very very easy to do uh, but um, but again please take advantage and share this video with other folks you know in forums and uh, help others out because um, I did a lot uh, I've been in so many places to try to find an easier solution I could not find and it has been for a long time uh, but finally um, I got a chance to to make that happen so just a little bit uh, showing to you uh, for Windows users as I talked a little bit about Mac for Windows users this is very is like a piece of cake um, to do that because if for a, a, a window user you um, you will be able to to navigate um, to use um, side quest uh, and work with the software um, it's kind of really 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 easy you, you, this software you can download uh, this software with uh, for windows and for mac um, the problem is that as you can see here uh, my my oculus is um, it's, it's connected to uh, SideQuest. Uh, this is an app, this is it's free, uh, and it has absolutely everything here on top, uh, except, except the cast uh, button here. There is no available for me. So it's like uh, this, this software for Mac, Mac, Mac users, besides all the, the, the free applications that you can download and play with it, if you want to work with the pass through as a Mac user, this software is useless. So it's not worthy to download and go into the trouble. So I did a lot with the software. Uh, one thing that's very important 
um, for um, for Mac users and for Windows users too is that on um, Oculus Quest you need to after you created the application in in Unity and installed in your um, headset you, you need to connect ideally it's useless but you can do that um, without without a side quest you need to make sure that um, your software is on experimental mode okay you can use side quests or other softwares uh, meta uh, uh, developer hub and you know you can go into your your your, your software in your headsets as well to do that but, uh, so what does it do in experimental mode? This enables experimental features in your Oculus Quest, such as pass-through. So this is very important, okay, in uh, true API support. Um, and the Guardian needs to be enabled to make it happen, okay? So this is very, very important. Um, so, I mean, I say useless, but you can get this on as you connect through your site, you know, connect your headset through the side quest. Um, okay, but again, you can do that to uh, other mean other other ways. But remember, experimental mode. Okay. Um, so again, um, so for your Windows users, usually you have a little TV here icon that you can click and you can cast it and you can record it. It's kind of very very easy if you're using Windows computer. Okay. All right. Cool. So. So it was hard for me to find uh, a, a, a place where, how to do it, you know? It's, it, it was very, very, very challenging for me to find. And uh, so I'm just get back here to my, um, to my um, developer hub here. Um, let me see where are you, right here. So the reason is because um, other things too, um, as I was talking about privacy, when you record pass through through the headset and when you record pass through uh, in any other way, it's always show a blue screen uh, on a video. So it doesn't record, it doesn't capture the mixed reality. And again, because of privacy, right? So, all right, so here on, um, on my Oculus Developer Hub, uh, first thing that you need to do is you wanna make sure that your software is connected, right? So let's just dive in into this and, and so that will be a lot easier for you to, to show to you how that plays, okay? So you wanna make sure that your software is connected it can be connected through over Wi-Fi. Mine is just connected to the cord, all right? So the first thing that you're gonna do here, the first thing, uh, well, actually before I cast here, because we're gonna just cast and record, but the, the place that you need to go first, you need to go to here um, in recording and you need to record on both eyes, okay? It's very important. Usually it's gonna be set for a single eye. You need to record in both eyes. So check on both eyes. Um, okay, this is very, very important, all right? Other thing too, the resolution. You need to add a very high resolution, okay, to record, okay? So it's like, uh, so it's very important that it goes both eyes in a high resolution, okay? Very, very important, and you can save. Um, if you don't do that, what's gonna happen is when you c click on the record button, you're gonna find an error here. That will never gonna work. So that's the main challenge that everybody faces is finding an error here. So you need to change to both eyes and change the resolution if you uh, if, if you find the resolution button. Okay, cool. All right, so let me just do that. Let me just cast first. Okay, and we're gonna go from there. All 
All right, so here I have my my uh, my the background is black. It's black because uh, it has a pasture here. I will I will be I will record this, and this black will not be here. Okay, after the recording. Okay, the black will not be here. Okay, um, it just when you create the application in Unity. Uh, you're gonna see a black background there as well okay all right so you can see that's casting now through it's casting through my again I'm not casting to Wi-Fi but I'm just casting to um, through um, to the court okay let me show the casting for you in a second so yeah you can see there so then casting okay all right so now uh, when I click in record, so so you can see they start recording. the 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 window is in the back of my uh, is behind this window here. Okay, so it's already recording. So let me just show it to you right here. So it's already recording here. Okay, uh, I have the the controllers there. Okay, so so it's recording again the challenge is to keep getting this record button in error so remember you need to go and add for both eyes okay record for both eyes cool all right so let me stop the recording and I want to show what the recording actually looks like so I just stop the recording and um, let me just show to you again so in a second show to you what the record look like record um, let me see here right there so this is what the record look like okay and if I play the record um, you see that the pasture is right there okay uh, showing the video and uh, when you edit the video in the uh, in a video player, you just can choose one lens. Uh, that's kind of pretty easy to, to, to record this. Okay, so now you can see uh, how you work. So, um, so really take advantage. It was very, very hard for me to find, you know, people trying to solve the problem of recording pass through. And uh, I was very, very, very happy to find this solution. Um, so again, you, you always can edit and just trim it, uh, the video, um, it will definitely do the job, okay, while you're using both controllers. Okay, so hope you really take advantage of this. Uh, again, please share this in forums and other places, uh, you know, where you've been researching. Um, it was definitely like a big breakthrough for me after, I, you know, I found this. Uh, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, finally, after for many, many, many weeks looking for, for a solution for Mac because I don't have a Windows. Okay, cool. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, thanks again for stopping by the channel. And uh, again, please um, support the channel. I would appreciate if you could um, um, share the channel or subscribe and keep yourself updated. Okay, cool. All right. Have a good one. Uh, see you later. All right. Bye-bye.